Good morning, scholars. It is the 24th of April, a Friday, and unlike yesterday, today the sun is shining and it's supposed to be a, a really r nice day um, by this afternoon. So hopefully, um, if you didn't get a chance to get outside yesterday because of all the rain that we had, that you get a chance to get outside and get a little fresh air, get some exercise in, um, kind of take a little brain break from some of your e-learning and just enjoy the outside, especially because earlier this week it was Earth Day, and I know some of you got some seedlings at school um, that you maybe can get out and plant today if you haven't planted them already, if you're able to do that. Uh, if we could start today with our Nagusa Saba, as we do each and every day, make sure you grab this, put this on pause, and read through it with yourself or a family member. Thank you. All right, now that we're back, um, I want to talk a little bit today about what Mr. Gring talked about yesterday in his message on the gospel and our people that soared for this week. Uh, Mr. Gring talked a lot about uh, love and sharing your faith in Jesus yesterday and just finding ways you can do that. Um, we can't say we're believers and we love Jesus and go around being disrespectful to people and hurtful to people. That's just not living in the light, as, as they would say. So we really want to find ways we can mirror how Jesus lived his life in our day-to-day -day life. And a great example of that is Father Steve Croy and his eighth graders from Christ the King in South Bend told you earlier this week uh, that I would talk more about them uh, this week on Friday. So it is Friday, so I want to share a little bit about the wonderful things uh, Father Croy and his 8th graders have done. Some of you, especially you 3rd and 4th graders, were probably looking forward to the 8th graders coming down and spending some time with them. Um, last year, we had a wonderful time. The 3rd and 4th graders were able to get out of school for pretty much the entire day, enjoy a lunch with the eighth graders from last year, and just really do a lot of things and activities and really strengthen each other's faith in God. Um, the eighth graders got to learn a lot about our third and fourth graders, and our third and fourth graders got to learn about the eighth graders from Christ the King in South Bend. Unfortunately, um, because of our current situation, the Christ of King 8th graders are not going to be able to come down. However, they had to work really hard over this year and do a lot of projects, um, some service projects, some fundraising projects in order to be able to come down on the trip that they come down each year. And one of the things they need to do is earn enough money to uh, help pay for the bus that they need to bring down, which is a really nice big coach bus that some of you got to see last year. Um, and then also they need to earn money to stay at a hotel because they come down for a couple nights. Well, since they are not going to be using that money for the bus, for their hotel room, for some of the food, what Father Steve and the 8th graders decided to do was really do something that is very Christ-like in being a light in our world. And they've decided to donate the money that they've earned to Holy Angels to help us out with some of the things that we need during this time. So really being a light um, when it can seem like there's all kinds of darkness around us, darkness of confusion, darkness of impatience, darkness of anxiety, darkness of despair, and even darkness of death. Um, there are people dying from this virus each and every day. And it can just really seem like there's so much darkness around us. But truly, truly am thankful for Father Steve and his eighth graders at Christ the King in South Bend. Um, I've also shared a thank you message that I sent to them earlier this week. I will put the link to that below this video. It is on our Holy Angels channel, um, but if you want to take a moment to view that, um, I send them a, a nice thank you message because what they did was just pure kindness, pure generosity, really 
mirroring how Jesus lived his life, putting others first, especially during um, this time. So that'll work really, really hard and earn money and, and do service projects. And now they're unable to come visit us, which is unfortunate, but they're taking a thing that um, could be kind of difficult and sad for them and, and turning it into a good thing. And that's what we all need to remember to do also in our lives. We are going to, you know, see despair. We are going to have anxieties over things, but we really need to take those things and turn them into goodness uh, in the best way that we can. So with that, Father Steve and the eighth graders, you are our people that soared for this week. And thank you. Thank you so much for your wonderful donation and thinking of holy angels during this time. Now we are going to end with our prayer, and I actually have a guest that is going to join us for our prayer today. She really misses all of you, so she wanted to be a part of our prayer to finish off today. So Lily, why don't you come step in here? Still in her pajamas, of course. Can you wave and say hi? Hi. All right. Let's all calm our hearts and our minds and get ready for prayer. Lily, you want to lead us through the sign of the cross, please? In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we are constant learners who seek to know you ever more fully. Inspire in us a thirst for knowledge. We are a community that transmits the values of our faith to all we need. Grant us the grace to inspire in those around us a fervent desire to see, persist, excel, love, and serve in all we do. We are witnesses who seek to make God known, loved, and served every day. Give us eyes of faith that by learning more about the world and the people in it, we might come to see ever more clearly God in all things. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Good job. <laughs> you guys have a, a great weekend. Stay healthy. We miss you. But keep up the great work on all of your distance learning. And your teachers will keep providing you awesome feedback and just helping you grow during this time, even though we are not face-to-face -face each and every day. Have a great day, scholars.